Following the latest in what has become a tense and uncertain presidential transition, President Donald Trump is still refusing to acknowledge he lost five days after Joe Biden was projected as the next president-elect. Late this morning, Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, visited Philadelphia for a Veterans Day ceremony at the Korean War Memorial at Penn's Landing. They were joined by Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest on the presidential transition now from Wilmington, Delaware. As President Trump refuses to back off his claims that there was massive fraud in the election, President-elect Joe Biden is remaining calm and pushing forward, reassuring Americans that President Trump's defiance won't stop his administration from transitioning into power. We don't see anything in slowing us down, quite frankly. This as the current president still insists we will win. His campaign still filing long shot legal challenges, nearly all of which have been thrown out of court. Judges finding no evidence of voter fraud. Most Republicans in Congress declining to publicly state Biden is the president elect and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo going further, perpetuating the false narrative that Trump could still win. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. William Cohen, a Republican and former Secretary of Defense during the Clinton administration, telling CNN. Well, my reaction is uh, the way in which they're conducting themselves is more akin to a dictatorship than a democracy. President-elect Joe Biden seeming to find the reluctance to accept his victory sad. I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. So far, there is no evidence of any of the assertions made by the president or Secretary of State Pompeo. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo. People close to the president tell ABC News that he does know the election is over, yet still he is creating doubt in the results. There is growing concern of the lasting effect this could have on American democracy. In Wilmington, Delaware, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.